Today we're going to be talking about the multi-resolution modifier found within inside Blender. Here I have a base hand that I exported from ZBrush, and this is what we're going to be using for the rest of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and add a multi-resolution modifier. Now there's a lot of different options available. These three are useless without first subdividing the mesh. So multi-resolution just basically makes it so that you can subdivide and then change the resolution based on either the preview, the sculpt, or the render. So for example, if we set sculpt to three, but the preview to zero and the render to one, in the preview, you can see that it is zero. If I go to sculpt mode, you can see it goes up to three. And if I go into render, if I actually rendered the object, it'd render it at one. Let's go ahead and go out of sculpt mode there. The main purpose of the, the multi-resolution or multi-tires, multi-tires, I don't know how to say that. Multi-tires? Yeah, whatever. Multi-resolution, multi-res. That's, that's how you say it, multi-res. The whole purpose of the multi-res modifier is um, so that you can sculpt and get a lot of cool effects from the sculpt. So again, subdivide will create the different subdivisions. If you go to delete higher, it'll delete everything in the current window. So if it was preview and it was set to zero, it'll delete all the way down to zero. If it was set to two and delete higher, it would delete all the subdivisions above that. Reshape is a very complex one. Basically what it does is it takes a, a model with the same, how do, how do I say this? The same number of vertices and changes the shape to that shape. So let's go ahead and duplicate this, move it to a different layer here. And we're gonna do the Vulcan live long and prosper sign. Kind of, kind of. Let's try this. Close enough, right? <laughs> Terrifying. Now, as I select this Vulcan sign and then select my normal hand, if I hit reshape, you'll see that my hand went to that shape. I don't really see a whole lot of use. If you know how to use this well and in a good workflow, let me know, because I don't know. Um, how I see it is, if I basically have this shape right here, why would I ever need to change another shape into that shape? It's just making two of the same object. But again, if you saw that and saw saw some options for your workflow, great, but let me know. Um, the last one is apply to base. And this one's really cool. Let's go ahead and go into sculpt mode. This one is extremely useful. If I don't want to model by moving vertices and things like that, sometimes I actually do go into sculpt mode and let's say I want to add a knuckle here and a knuckle here, right? And a knuckle here and a knuckle there and maybe knuckle right there as well, okay? I don't wanna do this in vertex mode, I just wanna sculpt it out. And now I'm going to hit reshape. Oh, better select it and go out of sculpt mode, sorry about that. Not reshape, apply mesh, apply base. Now as I tab in, you can see that these vertices have actually, let's change it so you can see that. These vertices have actually been moved because it applies the sculpt to the base mesh. This is extremely cool. And I can use this a lot in my workflows when I'm just trying to get an organic look without trying to box model or vertex model the thing. I can just sculpt it and then apply to base. So this is extremely useful. Um, subdivide UVs, as I sculpt on this, it will just dynamically subdivide those UVs so that it, it fits. Optimal display is good to always have on. I don't know if you can see this very well, but basically what it does is the outline is just the base mesh. And so it's a little bit faster, and so it makes sculpting faster. Um, save to external, just will save this as a, I think, .btx file, so that you can import this and apply it to different things. Now that's actually pretty cool, because what you could do is you could sculpt, uh, change some things, sculpt, change some things, get a, a bunch of different facial features, as long as you don't change the vertex count, save each of these different facial features, and then import them as different blend shapes. Let's go ahead and I'm going to reload this so that we have the base mesh again. I'm going to show you how I would use this in a workflow now. I would go ahead and go add modifier, multi-resolution. Go ahead and crank this up to about three. In my preview, I'd put that down to one. Render, I'd put that, I mean, zero and zero. But in my sculpt, I'd leave that as three. Now I'd go into sculpt mode. Okay. And I'm doing this with a mouse. I, I actually have a tablet, but it's not available right now. And, well, maybe it is. Let's try this. Here we go. Hey, there we go, okay. So I could go and I could just sculpt the different things. That's weird looking. Sculpt the different things like that. I'm gonna go back to my mouse. My tablet is available. It's just in a really 
precarious situation so I can't easily access it. Let's say I want to make this guy's like knuckles fat. I make him fat, make him fat. Or girls, I don't know. Is this a masculine hand? Kind of looks, I don't know. I've got extremely feminine hands, so it kind of actually looks like my hand, so. There we go. And so I would just sculpt on it with um, multiple resolutions, get the sculpt I want. If I tab out of sculpt mode like that, you can see that it's very normal. It, nothing has changed. If I hit apply to base, you could see that it actually applies it to base. And I would use it along those lines. If I actually want to sculpt too, that's kind of the workflow that I do. Uh, and I could keep those higher resolutions if I want to like that. And so that's multi-resolution or multi-res. Multiters, I don't know. Uh, if you like this video, check out the links to everything else that uh, I provide at the end of this video. Thank you so much, patron supporters. Oh yeah, sorry, I haven't done this for so long. Sorry guys. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, become a patron and get access to a lot of cool things and help me make more of these videos. Um, I, I will be releasing a new asset pack here in, in the next few days, I hope, cross my fingers. So if you're a patron, you'll get access to that as well. Um, leave comments below. I love interacting with you guys. And sorry for the delay. It's been a long time since I've made a video. I've gone back to school and it's been really, really busy for me. Um, that's it. I've said um a lot. So there you go. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.